Director of the Center for Politics at the University of Virginia. Larry, good to see you. Thank you. Leader McConnell said today uh, Republicans have a 50-50 shot at taking the Senate. It's going to be very, very close, he said. That, that, more, that more to do with the candidates the party's running or a shift or some combination? Uh, yes, he's actually right. Normally, you expect a party leader to say, oh, we're going to win, no question about it, we've got the best team. But the truth is, and McConnell's reflecting the truth, the Republicans nominated some very weak candidates in places where they could have won, like Pennsylvania, Arizona, uh, Georgia, and, and they may still win those places, but it's a lot tougher than they expected. So it's candidate quality, and McConnell used that phrase, candidate quality. Uh, second of all, it's the overturning of Roe. That's what's transformed low Democratic enthusiasm into high Democratic enthusiasm that now essentially uh, matches Republican enthusiasm. Normally, the out-of-power party, the Republicans, would be expected to be much more enthusiastic about the elections. Not true anymore. Both parties are enthusiastic. That may cut Democratic losses in the House. It may, may enable them to hang on in the Senate. Mm -hmm. The president's approval rating is still obviously quite low, and the majority think we're headed in the wrong direction. This talk of Democrats potentially avoiding a wipeout in the House in November, overstated, or do you buy it? I don't think they can avoid losing the House. I do think they can avoid losing the Senate, though it will not be easy to do so. What's odd, what's unusual, Shep, is that we've got a two-presidents midterm. Normally, uh, midterm is a referendum on the sitting president, the incumbent president. Who's dominating the news night after night after night? You don't see much of Joe Biden on the evening news shows. You see a lot of Donald Trump, and he's very controversial. So Trump is actually neutralizing, to some degree, the Biden factor. And 42 percent is absolutely low. If this were not a two presidents midterm, I think Republicans would be looking at taking over both houses. Two presidents midterm. Wow. Tomorrow, Democrats down in Florida get to pick who they want to challenge uh, Governor Ron DeSantis. Congressman, former, former Governor Charlie Crist, or Nikki Freed, the, the state's commissioner of agriculture. Can either of those be competitive against DeSantis? It's going to be difficult. Look, Florida has moved uh, pretty consistently, not heavily, but consistently toward the Republican Party. Most of their elections are still quite close, but the Republican always ends up the winner. It can be as little as 10,000 votes. It can be hundreds of thousands of votes, but the effect is the same. So I would say DeSantis is the clear favorite there, regardless of, of which candidate the Democrats choose. Larry Sabato from UVA. Great to view. Thank you.